Hey everybody, welcome into Northern Life. So glad you can join us on this Tuesday. I know the folks don't come to us for news news, but it is election day, right? It is election day. It is a big day and uh, we're hoping to provide maybe a little uh, happy break in the in the uh, stressful times of our newsroom. Too yeah. Today. yeah, and no matter when you're catching us, you still have time to get out there and vote because polls don't close tonight until 8 o'clock. So hey, get out, cast that ballot, huh? Good to know. Go do it. <laughs> do your civic duty. Yeah, <laughs> also coming up on today's show, we have a survivor themed blindfold. Hunter puts me and Ryan through a series of challenges to see who will win the crown and whose torch will ultimately be snuffed out. I was so thankful Hunter put this together because look at me jumping there. Yeah, probably the most fun I've ever had at work. Bridge was a little excited to say the least. <laughs> and after that, there is a special theater tour making a stop in Grand Rapids today at the Rife Center. So for parents and kids out there, we'll be chatting with one of the actors involved in Daniel Tiger's Neighborhood Live with their show called King for the Day. That show is coming up tonight at 6 p.m. But since Hunter is away, we thought it'd be fun to get to know some of our co-workers better. And so for today's show, we got meteorologist Tony Nargi on Northern yeah. Life. Welcome to the nice show, to be Tony. on, guys. Yeah, you know, I've wanted to come on, you know, for, you know, ever since you started back up. And uh, I am new around here, so it's great to uh, finally get some people to recognize me, maybe, or something. Yeah. I, I work in the mornings, 5 to 7. <laughs> we never see you, usually. Right. Yeah, yeah. And especially on, even on Fridays, I was out the door at 8 o'clock, but that was kind of to play Fortnite. But you know, um, yeah, it was uh, big video game guy. Yeah, big video game guy. Who is Tony Nargi, by the way? Who is Tony Nargi? Tony Nargi is a young buck from Winthrop, Massachusetts. You know, graduated from Penn State last year, and uh, yeah, I just really like the the. First of all, obviously love the weather, but really love the cold and snow. So. Uh, I think Duluth was a good spot to pick personally, mm -hmm. and we've already seen some snow. And I'm hearing that this is uh, not even close to as worse as it gets. So no, you know, no, not no. At all. I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that. I've all like so. What made me fall in love with weather was just um, like nor'easters in New England. Those are big snowstorms that come on in. And in 2015, we got over 100 inches of snow, over 80 inches of snow in February. And, you know, I made so much money shoveling snow. I loved it. And uh, I almost felt like I was tracking storms myself the way I was watching the news all the time. So, yeah, that's what made me fall in love with and become a meteorologist. Are you still uh, uh, being paid to uh, shovel snow in the Northland here? <laughs> no, you, no, no. Taking jobs? No, <laughs> no I've retired since okay, then. Okay. Uh, retired. retired. <laughs> yeah, I made so much money in 2015, retired. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> now I'm... Meteorology for fun now. Yeah, now yeah, it's kind of yeah. just like a hobby gotcha. here. <laughs> I pick up like a little bits of an accent from you every now and again, but are you one of those East Coast people that it really comes out when you get passionate about something? Like sports yeah. uh, definitely comes out more there, I would say. <laughs> uh, yeah, and, and also, you know, I'm from Winter Mass, so, you know, it is r literally a suburb of Boston, right next to uh, the airport of uh, Logan International. Okay. So, you know, I feel like people have the thicker accents when they're living in Southie, you know, when my parents met, like stuff like oh. that. Uh, but my mom and dad are not from uh, Boston. My, they moved there, but my dad was from Connecticut. Okay. And so he didn't have an accent. My mom does have an accent. She's from Ireland, so she moved. Really? So, yeah, she moved to Southie. In uh, I think 1991 Your or something. Your mom like moved that. to the U.S. from Ireland. Yes. Wow. Yes. No kidding. Yeah. So I've been to Ireland several times, uh, and it's awesome. Limerick, Ireland. Um, been to Kilkee a bunch because like we have a little house out there. Wow. Um, yeah. Not not All us. Right. My family though. Um, <laughs> yeah. It is. Uh, Quite an incredible place. So yeah, I love all my relatives back in Ireland. Uh, they've watched me on you know oh, the live cool. streams. So in the mornings, international it's, viewers. There we go. Okay. Yeah, for them, for them, it's like you know uh, I think around 11 when we first go on. So uh, yeah, they it's really easy for them. Dude, that is awesome. Wow. I know, well, Seth, I know we're going to skip a little bit here, but uh, are you as much, much of a bus guy in Boston as you are here? Because I know in the morning show uh, we'll hear from Seth here in a second. The bus, the bus, the bus, the bus, the bus, the bus. <laughs> Tony Nargi is a big bus guy. Is that, uh, you know, talk us through the mornings with you. I mean, you're a big bus guy. You love the, you love the ships, too, and the bridges. Look, you got to bring the energy in the morning. You know, it's, uh, it's, it's tough getting up sometimes, but if you actually, you know, get up with your viewers, like how uh, I get up by screaming the bus, I feel like it brings the energy, shows a little bit of personality, and it definitely, you know, brings a little uh, attention to the bus that we are promoting in that in that ad read. And I also love the bus because, like I said, like I don't have a car, so when I go up to the mall, try to, you know, uh, get some Applebee's or uh, go shopping at Men's Warehouse. <laughs> Got to take the bus. Yeah. So, uh, and, and you know what? That the new Go Line system that they added, really good. The, you know, I I was a huge fan at every 20 minutes. So wow. yeah, I, I actually I do love the bus. I. Yeah. I 
Stick by it. Shoveler, okay. DTA spokesperson. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Tony Archie. He does it all. <laughs> does it all. <laughs> and speaking of does it all, you got to experience your first UMD hockey game over the weekend. It was a good one too. A big win yes. uh, for the Bulldogs. How was that for you? That was a sick game. Um, so I've been to a bunch of college hockey games at Penn State. That's uh, you know a really good environment. And Amsoil was definitely up to the challenge. I would say their environment was almost as good as Penn State's environment. <laughs> uh, okay, 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 Tony. <laughs> but um, yeah, what an amazing game. Uh, uh, you know, I've never seen a shootout in person. I've been to, you know, probably 50, 100 hockey games and never saw a shootout in person. So it was oh. great to finally see one. But have you ever seen someone at intermission win free Subway for No, a I have not. That was cool. That happened too. Check this out. I caught this video from up in my seats. I was at the game. <laughs> that guy all the way on the other end of the ice hit the puck into this tiny little hole. Any one free subway for a year. I think it was like one sub a week oh, yeah, for a year. Yeah, but yeah, hey, right. that's no, a good No, shout out to this guy too. He was lasering it. He was not just doing softies. Uh, he absolutely was firing it down there. And, you know, one of them went posted in. I mean, that was great. So cool, man. I, I, the, yeah, the first guy who went didn't have such luck. Which was sad for yeah, me, was but this guy but came see, he was going really, He was going really soft with it, doing the saucers. Yeah. No, this guy was lasering it. I love that. Do you, have gritty. you ever played hockey? I played hockey, yes, you know, it's a gritty sport. I feel yeah. like Duluth is a gritty town, so I love being here. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I did play hockey and, um, you know, I wasn't very good, but you know, it was all about trying. Now, now I'm a hockey enjoyer, yeah. a hockey watcher. We'll have to get you on the ice to try that on right. next time, huh? Yeah. I we, think I can hit it. We enjoy being here with Tony. Thank you for being here, Tony. You can always watch our morning show too, 5 to 7 a.m. on Northern News Now. Check we'll it out. We'll be, be back right after back. the break. As we figured out, it's no secret, I'm a huge fan of the TV show Survivor. Hunter surprised the two of us by bringing us out to his place to take part in a Survivor-themed challenge. And it came down to the wire, let's just say that, but of course, there can only be one winner. You know, I actually have no idea. I thought we were going to Hunter's house, but... I kind of still feel like we're going to Hunter's house. <laughs> that still seems like something he would do. Actually, he saved a bunch of projects for us to complete for uh, him at his house. <laughs> we're raking leaves. Hi guys! <laughs> Hi. Welcome to my humble abode! <gasps> oh cool! It is Hunter's house. Yeah, <laughs> I knew it! I knew it! <laughs> we're doing a survivor challenge. <gasps> oh, yeah! yeah. <laughs> Grab your torches! Your favorite show, isn't it? One of your favorite shows? Yes. We're gonna start off, you have to make four ringers, not in a row, they don't have to be in a row. Then you have to run up and do the puzzle. Finally, you have to make fire, like you actually do in Survivor. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> <laughs> oh, got the bags. We've got the bags. Okay. Uh, good thing I... Briggs' first throw is oh, in. Briggs yes, has yes. throws in. Briggs has one. Briggs has two. What? Ryan has one. Briggs what? has three. Briggs you almost has four. I almost Ryan, one missed. to three. One to oh, three. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Oh, He's insane. That was almost... Oh, my gosh. Briggs <laughs> has four. See you, Ryan. Whoa, there goes Briggs, Ryan. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Breaks out of the puzzle, right? It's still throwing the bag. Now I feel the stress that they feel on the show. Oh. Okay, here's the fish. Ah, two Ryan! Three Ryan! Oh no. Okay, this is part of Adam. Ah. <laughs> oh, got almost. Okay, oh, here's Dan's face. There it is, he's in! <laughs> Get out of here, Ryan. <laughs> this is what the heck is oh, this? Oh man, this is actually gonna dig forever. <laughs> is this Dan's fish? No, it's I gotta be Adam's fish. How does that not go? <laughs> you seem to be stressed, Ryan. Yeah, I'm very stressed, Keith. <laughs> Sorry, Keith. <laughs> didn't, didn't mean to take that out on you. That was... <laughs> Briggs almost has Adam complete. <laughs> I should probably flip all my pieces over. What am I doing? Black oh, this is Adam snow pants. Ryan's almost done, he's got three oh, pieces left. Here. No, no, Where's Ryan, this? no, this is my dream. What does this belong to? <laughs> Ryan, you're literally crushing dreams no. out here. <laughs> yeah, that goes there. Okay. He's done, he's on the fire. Oh, ah. oh, hopefully Ryan's fire making skills are trash. You gotta start small to get big. Start small, start small to get big. Sky. Oh, thank you, sir. I don't know where this goes. I gotta give it room to grow, don't I? Steady, this is what they do. They cheated. The real survivor, too. Oh, a log cabin going. No! 
Come on. Good enough, Frank. Good enough, good enough. Good enough. <laughs> Frank is on! All right. I'm about to show you. <laughs> I've never really used a match before. What? <laughs> You've never used a match? <laughs> 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 oh, fire. The pressure is so real. When I'm watching at home, I'm always like, just make the fire, come on, you idiots. <laughs> now here I am. Oh, I hear, I hear crinkling. It's mine. Oh, uh, they both are. <gasps> There's a little black on uh, Ryan's roof. It has to burn all the way through. No, 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 I got black too. He's got it, who's gonna win? Oh, it's gotta be me. Just, come on, Rob, I see you. Burn, it's going, it's starting to tear. No, no. It's starting to tear. Come on, go, fire. Survivor uh, audition video. Good Thank job, you, Good day. job. This is the best day of work ever. <laughs> this is so fun. Oh man, that was a fun time. It's that so was you did, you did a good job. Thank you did a good you. job. Oh. I was so heartbroken, as I said in the story. There, that was my dream, and Ryan's just out here crushing out my here dreams. Crushing dreams. <laughs> well, it, 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 the funniest part too is you beat me on the first one. You got to the puzzle. And then when you got to the fire, you said, I've never used a match before. I don't know how to. I didn't. Well, that was your uh, first time using it, a match. It was. Wow. Usually I use one of those, just like, you know, those big yeah. clicker things. Yeah, yeah. Uh, not, not the, um, as we figured out in the Duluth pack thing, I'd never not used the, a... The, 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 I don't even know the, the roll lighter or whatever it's Why called. Why is it so yeah. hard to think of the <laughs> words on the show? Last week we couldn't think of we dry eyes. Dry eyes. Yeah. A, a lighter. Um, Wait, uh, whatever type yeah. of lighter it is. But that was super <laughs> fun. I mean, like I said, I think I said it last week too. It's like when you, when you, go, the 40, uh, when you go the 40 minutes and you're hitting dirt roads, you're like, yeah. we're for sure going to hunt. Hunter's house. I Don't know. know what he has planned, but we're for sure going to Hunter's that house. That was so. very creative on his part, too, to put together all those challenges. And he did it all by himself. He did. It was he so did. sweet. He, he, um, he created and shipped in those uh, puzzles of Adam and Dan. Yes. Uh, yeah. Which which slightly didn't fit, like the piece when you're kind of jamming it into yeah. place. You're like, yeah. I don't know if this is right or not. And I think that's how you got ahead. I'm going to blame it on that. Gotcha, <laughs> gotcha. No, like the new puzzle thing. And the thing too, like when you're in a c competition like that, and it's it basically you need to be the fastest. Yeah. I never even looked at the photo of what the picture I was building. You know? Rookie mistake. You forget what you're doing. My you hamstrings do. were tightening up too as I was <laughs> running and getting the, the bags and then standing up for the puzzle. I mean, I'm just thankful it, uh, it, I ended successfully. I think yeah. we're going to have to gift those puzzles to uh, Dan and, and yeah. Adam yeah. <laughs> so they can put it together on their own. And see, oh, they'll time them, see how fast they can do it. But a lot of fun, a lot of fun. So thank you, Hunter, and we'll see you later this week. But still ahead, Grand Rapids welcomes a tiger to their neighborhood today. We have a chat with a Daniel Tiger performer. Welcome back. There are a ton of great TV shows for kids out there, and the Northland is getting ready to welcome the cast of Daniel Tiger's Neighborhood Live to Grand Rapids tonight. Very cool. One of the performers, Emma Moore, had the chance to chat with us about it, telling us all about the fun that families can expect tonight with their little ones. Hey, Northern Life. I'm Emma Tracy Moore, and I play Mom Tiger in Daniel Tiger's Neighborhood Live, King for a Day. I'm originally from Vancouver, Canada, but I've been living in New York for the past 11 years. Daniel Tiger's Neighborhood Live, King for a Day is a musical that's based on the PBS Kids series, and it's all about kindness. It's about choosing to be kind, and it's filled with great teachable and relatable moments for children, and even for the grown-ups too. You know, I learn something new and valuable every time we do the show. It's super rewarding being able to perform and tour on this production. I was exposed to theater at a really young age and that really influenced my decision in wanting to pursue a career in acting. And so it's really special to think that we might be doing the same to some children in the audience. I often get emotional looking in the audience at these kids' faces, just watching us in amazement. It's so pure and it's so genuine. And you can buy these Daniel and Katarina dolls and t-shirts and light up wands before and during the show. And it's so cute because the kids will hold up their dolls to show us and we can see these glow up wands and these Daniel dolls being waved and it's so sweet and special. You know, I've never been to Minnesota before so I'm so excited to be here. That's a really great part about touring is that I'm able to visit so many cities I've never been to before. And we got a few days off so I'm really excited to explore. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk with me today. We hope to see you on November 7th at the Rife Performing Arts Center for 
for Daniel Tiger's Neighborhood Live King for a Day. Super cute. Big yeah. thanks to Emma for uh, chatting with us there. Once again, that show is tonight at 6 p.m. up in Grand Rapids. We're going to have the link to purchase tickets on our website at northernnewsnow.com under the Northern Life tab. So, looks like a fun show. It does. I've never actually seen Daniel Tiger. I've uh, seen a couple clips, but okay. not like the whole show. Cool. Yeah, yeah. I know kids <laughs> like it, though. I think I think Blippi was in Duluth yep. this past yep. weekend, too. So, a lot of cool shows for kids yep. out there. Uh, I remember thinking back, some of my favorite shows when I was a kid are nothing like the shows that are on today. Like, do you remember Cat Dog? I do remember Cat Dog. Cat <laughs> Dog was that a still good on show. TV? I don't know if it's still on TV, Me but uh, there were some tons of good shows. And I was thinking too, like, uh, there are some things that you're sad that you wish today's kids would be experience yeah. would be able to experience, like we did. And one of them for me was Camp Snoopy. Oh. Do you remember ever going to yes. Camp Snoopy? Yes. It was such a good I time. I still call it Camp Snoopy. Yeah. You have to. It's so hard to call it. What is it now? Nickelodeon Universe? I know. It's still it's still pretty cool. It it's is. It's still cool for kids, but at the same time, you know, nothing like riding the bus with Snoopy going up and around. <laughs> all those, whatever types of rides they had. I mean, it was such a fun time. And even like SpongeBob, yeah. like growing up watching SpongeBob. Mm -hmm. Today's SpongeBob is nothing like the old SpongeBob. No. So. Were you a big log flume guy, Camp Snoopy? <laughs> I, I did not like the log no? flume. No? Oh, I did man. not like the log flume. There's nothing like walking around the yeah. mall just wet. <laughs> oh my gosh. After the log and flume. especially there's like no seatbelt. There was no seatbelt on it, I don't think, too. So yeah. you're like flying down and go, well, I guess this is fun or I'm supposed to have fun, but at the same time, I'm incredibly stressed. So I guess this is it. I guess this is it. It's been a fun ride at Camp Snoopy. Uh, yeah. I wish kids uh, like a Walkman, you know, had like the wow. book of CDs yeah. that yeah. you would flip through CD in the back of your the car. Oh, yeah. That, that was, was uh, that's something that everybody needs to experience. Now they got phones. They got good phones. Happy for them, I suppose. Uh, I suppose, yeah. We'll be right back after the break, taking a look at what's coming up tomorrow. Hey, coming up tomorrow on Northern Life, Ryan here is going to get the chance to introduce us to the newest half family member. I know her name. I'll have to wait to give you her name because she's just so sweet. My my older sister and her husband celebrated the birth of their daughter. And so, you know, my parents are now grandparents for the first time. Ooh. And it was a really special day. I drove down just for the day to go meet her. Um, you know, quite the uh, quite the wonderful moment to be able to spend the first less than 24 hours of mm -hmm. her life uh, with her. So um, we'll share all the photos and videos too from the hospital. And also a big thanks to you guys for sharing your comments and your photos and your videos with us. I mean, we have had a lot of awesome conversations on our Facebook page. Yeah. So we're gonna get into more of our viewer comments and uh, messages tomorrow as well. Oh, I yeah. can't wait for that. Uh, but before we go to be sure to join us tonight at 10 p.m. on Northern News Now for the latest results from today's election. We've been busy following that all day today, yep. so we're excited to bring you all that coverage coming up tonight at 10. A lot of folks working hard behind the scenes. We'll have a lot of live shots, uh, candidate interviews as well. So. Hope you'll be there for that. Yeah, there's usually a lot of pizza in our newsroom, too, so I might uh, have to stick around just for the pizza. Uh, cross our fingers. Let's really <laughs> and for the work our team does. Yes. <laughs> it's yes. from favorite part of election night. Well, thank you for joining us. We'll be back here tomorrow. Find some time to throw a line or just head outside to unwind. That's the life in the great north woods. Hike or bike, whatever you like. Get out in the day. Enjoy the night. Yeah, we got the life in the great north woods. Yeah, we got the life in the great north woods. Yeah, this is northern life.